Hello, Vintage Outboard Motor fans. This is T Mike here in South Louisiana making another video today. And today's video is going to be on how to test and measure the ignition components of a 1973 25 horsepower Johnson. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the ignition coil located on the magneto and measure the wiring coming out and I'm going to show you how to measure the condenser on the magneto and I'm going to show you how to measure the coils that are located outside on the power head outside of it so this will be useful to you whether you're troubleshooting or rebuilding your magneto system if you're wondering what measurements you should get what the specs are of these components I'm about to show you all right so if everybody's ready here we go See, I've got my magneto pulled off of the 1973 25 horsepower and I've got it taken apart. I have all the points here, all the screws and everything, all the old condensers. And I'm going to rebuild this one with a new set of points and condensers. The tune up kit I'm using is a Sierra 18 5002. I've also got a new set of coils for the outside of it and that part number is 18-5172 uh, for these coils so this video is going to be on how to take the measurements we're going to use two different meters for this we're going to use an ohm meter and this is a fluke 177 ohm meter I'm using and I got it set to the ohm scale with the common lead and the volt lead connected to it and to measure the condensers, I'm going to use my Honeytech A6013L to measure the condensers. So let's start off with the coil located on the magneto. I'm going to take my trusty voltometer, and there's two leads coming off of that coil. I'm going to connect one lead to this one side, the other lead to here, and we should measure between one and three ohms, and we're measuring 2.7. So that coil is good. It's a coil of wire around this armature, and it's good. All right, so that coil is good. Now let's check the wiring coming off of this coil out to these end of the leads. Okay, so here's the, the lead coming off of the bottom coil on this wire to here and it measures 2 ohms. So that's good. So the other wiring comes from here to the top coil terminal and it measures 1.6 ohms. So we have the, the coil is good and the wiring out on the harness tested good has continuity so all that looks good all right now let's check the new calls we're putting in all right so to check those calls we'll go from the one lead of the coil out to the other leader call it should be between one and three ohms and it is 2.6 ohms that coil is good. Now we're going to go from that same ground lead out to the end of the spark boot here. And that's the secondary coil. It should measure between 3 and 10,000 ohms. And it measures 6,200 ohms. So that coil is good. That's how you test your coil. Whether you're troubleshooting or your rebuilding. Last thing we're going to test is going to be 
the condensers. The new condensers I'm putting in, I'm gonna use my Honey Tech capacitance meter. I got the two leads connected here. I'm gonna set the ohmage or the microfarad scale to two microfarads. And we're looking at somewhere around 0.3 microfarads. I connect to one side. And then I connect to the ground, the chassis, if I can catch it. A little trouble there. All right, so it's 0 0.2, 0 0.216 microfarads. That's between one and four microfarads. So that condenser is good. All right, so that's how you check all the components, coils, condensers, and the wiring of an ignition, ignition magneto system. Whether you're troubleshooting or building it new, that's how you take all the measurements. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Here at T-Mikes, we're doing it one motor at a time. See you next video. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Here at T Mike's Vintage Oddboards, we're doing it one motor at a time. Please subscribe, I guarantee to provide weekly videos. Au revoir, mes amis, and laissez les bon temps rouler.